Hi friends, welcome back. Miss Walker here and Monkey the Mathematician waving. So we are going to go ahead and jump right in today to module one, lesson four. So I just went ahead and shared my screen with you and I'm gonna go through our I can statement. So this lesson's all about making a 10 to add. So our I can statement is I can use the make a 10 strategy to help add. Okay, can you say it? I can use the make a 10 strategy to help add. Awesome. So let's go ahead and turn to, we're going to start on page 20. So let me get my little tools ready. And we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to start reading the first problem. It says Kayla has seven red flowers. <gasps> and she has five yellow flowers. How many flowers does she have? So right away, I'm gonna do my strategy of circling the numbers. And step two, underline the question. That's right. And step three, box keywords. So it says Kayla has seven red flowers. She has five yellow flowers. How many flowers does she have? So it sounds like they're trying to figure out all of them. So how many flowers, how many flowers does she have? That's important. Let's read what A says. It says, how can you make a 10 to show the problem? So I'm gonna go ahead and change my tool to a little counter. And we are going to use today, I'm gonna to use red and yellow counters to, to use this 10 frame. So, hmm, how can I make a 10? So why don't we start with the seven red flowers? Can you guys help me count to seven, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oops, <laughs> it went away. What happened? There, oop, there we go. Six and seven. Awesome. Now, how many yellow flowers does she have? Five. That's right. So now with my yellow counters, let's go ahead and make five. Can you count to five with me? One, two, three, four, five. We ran out of space in our 10 frame, but I just did them right here underneath. So let me go ahead and go back over here and change this color. So it says, Part B, how can you complete the equations to solve the problem? 10 plus blank equals blank. So if we look at what we did here, we know that this 10 frame is filled up. So we know how many are in here? 10, that's right. So 10 plus how many are not in the 10 frame? Two, that's right. So we know that 10 plus two equals, hmm, what does it equal? So friends, we can, we know that since this first 10 frame is full, we can start counting from on from 10. So let's go ahead and do it. 10, and then keep counting, 11, 12. How many flowers do they have all together? 12, that's right. So boys and girls, we just used this 10 frame to make a 10 to show this problem. So if we know that we put seven red and five yellow, we know that we made a 10. So we know that 10 plus two equals 12. We also know that seven plus five equals 12 because there are seven red and five yellow. And we already figured out our sum is 12. So Kayla has 12 
flowers. It's time for turn and talk. What did you add to seven to make 10? What did you still need to add? What's that? Okay, yes, I will tell them. Monkey the mathematician just was explaining it to me. He was explaining that he added three to seven to make 10. See, just how we did it here. But then he really wanted to add five in all, so we still had to add two more. That's how he ended up getting 10 plus two equals 12. High five. I love it. Great job. All right, boys and girls, we are going to move on to the next page. I'm going to do one more problem here. It says, step it out. Eric read six books. Kim read eight books. How many books do they read? Real quick, friends, let's do our circling. So we know he read six, Kim read eight. How many books do they read? That's our question. We're underlining our question. How many books do they read? <gasps> so we have to figure out how many books all together do they read? Not just one of them, but together. So, hmm, let's get our counters ready. So it says eight is close to 10. Oh, sorry, think. Eight is close to 10. So start with eight. Use your counters to show eight plus six. So in this first 10 frame right here, we're gonna show eight. Can you count with me to eight? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. And in this next 10 frame, we are going to show six. Can you count with me to six? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, part B says move some of your counters to make a 10. <gasps> Look, boys and girls, it looks like there are two spots where we can move counters. All right, let's do it right down here. So, Let's start, oopsies, wrong tool. Let's start by counting one, two, three. We're gonna count to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna take two of these counters. We're gonna take two of these ones. We're gonna take this one. And we're going to take this one and we're going to move them over here, way down there. So let's go ahead and do two more counters. What comes after eight? Nine, ten. Awesome, friends. So now, if you look at our picture, our ten frames, you can see that we have four counters left. So let's fill this 10 frame with those four counters. Ready? Count to four. One, two, three, four. Awesome, friends. Let's double check to see if we did it correctly. Eric reads six books. Kim reads eight books. So let's double check that we have eight and then six yellow. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. And let's count to see if we have six yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Do you see how we made a 10? We were able to take two from over here, up above from six, and we were able to move them over to make a 10. And then we put the leftover ones here. So let's complete the equation. Let me get a different color so you guys can see. So it says 10, we know that there's 10. Remember when a 10 frame is all filled up, how many is that? 
10. That's right. So boys and girls, I might sometimes show you this. And when you see this, I want you to say 10. Ready? 10, that's right. 10, that's right. So when a 10 frame is all filled up, we know that that is 10. So we know that this right here is 10. So 10 plus how many over here? Four, that's right. Now, we have to solve this problem. I have a question. Do I have to start counting at one? No, I don't because guess what? How many is this? 10, that's right. So we know that this is 10. So guess what? We can start counting at 10. And we only have to count on four more. So let's put 10 in our head. Ready? 10. What comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14. What's our sum? 14. So we know that 8 plus 6 equals 14. How many books did they read? 14. Awesome, friends. Oop, my, I went below the line. Let me re erase it and I'll try to do a better number 14. I'm still learning how to write with this on the computer. There we go. 14 books. Qu Pop quiz. How many is this? 10, that's right. We're getting used to seeing that 10. So boys and girls, oh, what's that? Oh, of course, Monkey the Mathematician wanted to do a few flips to celebrate how awesome you did with this lesson. One, whoa, two, three. Oh, what's that? Oh, he wants to do 10 because we're learning about the 10 frame. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, boys and girls. Uh, we will see you next time.